Island News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Tuesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. An update for you at Midday. Hiko customers are without power today after a car slams into a pole in Waimanalo. And taking a look at the map, just before 5 this morning, a car crashes into a utility pole on Kalaniana Ole Highway. Now, this closed down both directions of the highway by Shriners Beach. And this is new video of the scene and the down utility pole. As a result, over 841 customers were originally without power this morning and at last check power has been restored to all but eight customers. Hawaiian electric crews expect power to be completely restored by 2.30 p.m. today. New at midday, an early morning fire causes to force some major evacuations at a high rise in the Kaka'ako area. And firefighters responded to a fire in the trash chute at the Symphony Honolulu Luxury Apartments on Ward and Kapiolani. Now, the first alarm went off around 7.15 this morning. The entire high rise was evacuated. About an hour and a half later, officials began Again, letting residents back in the building and no injuries have been reported. The cause of the blaze or the extent of the damage is under investigation. Also new at midday, a woman accused of stealing several million dollars from an Oahu nonprofit pleads not guilty in court today. Now this is new video of Lola Jean Amorin's arraignment and plea from OCCC today. Amorin is accused of taking seven million dollars from the Ark of Hawaii and she's charged with theft, computer fraud, money laundering and other charges as well. Her trial is set for January. January 15th. Well, Oahu ringing in New Year's Eve with a bang. Firecrackers are now on sale. Hundreds of people rushed into Don Quixote at six in the morning to fill their shopping carts with firecrackers. And that fire department issued 21,000 permits for the island of Oahu. As always, we'll have more on Island News tonight at 5, 6, and 10.